Hi, hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, I will be showing you how you can set up your AWS SES account and without even doing any kind of coding, how you can do a setup and send email without any kind of technical knowledge. Now let's go to the AWS account. If you have an existing AWS account, you can log into your account. In case if you don't have an account, you can sign up for a new account. You can go to Google and search for AWS sign up and it will be giving you the links so you can sign up to that account. Now when you sign up for a free account, AWS will ask for your credit or debit card details and they will also validate your card. This doesn't mean that they will charge your card. They will be asking these details only for verification purpose. In case if you cross the billing threshold in the future, only then they will be charging for your account. So once the sign up is done, you will land up on your dashboard. In the dashboard on top search, you can search for SES. You will get a result of Amazon simple email service. Just click on that. Now once you click on this, you will be getting an initial warning. Your Amazon SES account is in sandbox in Asia specific Mumbai. This I'm doing it for Mumbai region. Now in case if you are based out in different country based on your different locations wherever you are from, you can choose the nearby you know data center. For this I'm asking you to choose nearby so that the delivery rate and things will be faster. But you can also choose others but I highly recommend you to choose the data center which is near to your location. Now from the dashboard we have to give a request for production access so that you can start sending emails. But before sending request for production access you need to verify your identity. So click on verified identities. Now in here there is uh, no identity which was verified yet. So you can click on create identity to add a new identity. Now you can either verify a domain name or you can verify a email address. If you verify an email address, then you can be able to send emails only from that particular address. For example, if I click on email and if I verify hello at the rate of magneticmailer.com. No need to fill anything else, just click on create identity. Now what will happen is, a verification link will be sent to my mail and once i verify this here the status will be changed from verification pending to verified now i just verified my email address so the status is changed to verified in this what i have done is i have just verified this email id and it took me less than one minute to verify my email ID because they are just simply sending a link but if you are going to verify your domain name you might need to add some additional records so just click on domain and enter the domain name so for example, you are adding magneticmailer.com and scroll down and click on create identity. Now at this time, they, if you scroll down in this page, they will be providing you with three CNAME records. Now you need to add all these three CNAME records in your domain name. And once you add it, maybe like it will take around 10 to 15 minutes and the identity will be verified automatically. So you need to add these CNAME records in your domain. If you don't know, maybe if you're not a technical person, you can ask your domain provider to add these records. Now, once the verification is done, so this identity also will be verified. Now, since I already verified one identity, which is an email, I can be able to request for production access. Now when you click on request production access, always make sure you have verified your identity before requesting for production access. If you fail to do that, when you apply for production access, then they will reject your request and they will ask you to verify your identity. So this will only delay the process. So step one, make sure your identity is verified. Then in the mail type, click on marketing. Don't select transactional because that is a different uh, purpose. So marketing is what you need to select and select your website URL. So I'm just putting, put your entire website URL including HTTPS. So I just entered our website URL and write the use case description very, very clearly and in a very detailed manner. So you can be able to add up to 5,000 records. So make sure you're adding the description in a very clear way so that when the verification team sees this description, they understand clearly how you are going to manage all the data and how are you going to send these emails in an efficient way. 
because the mails what you are sending should not be sent to unauthorized entities or uh, uh, you know like many people should not mark your mails as spam and many other factors are there right so that is the reason they are asking for a proper use case description now in this you can also mention how are you going to manage all of your unsubscribers all the people uh, you know who uh, mark your mail as spam all the bounces so you can also mention all these things now if you are going to use magnetic mailer platform then you can easily mention here like we are going to use a email sending tool in which we can be able to segregate all the data in a proper way and if any unsubscribers are there our system will automatically detect that and it will be removed from the mailing list in the future so you can mention all these use cases in a clear way now once the use cases are mentioned then you can submit for a request so i agree you just have to select this and click on submit request now once you give a request they will take around 24 to 48 hours for you to provide with the approval now once it is verified once they are giving access then you can be able to send up to 50000 emails in a day now if you see here it is showing 199 cents is available for today right now this will become 50,000 emails per day and I think your email sending speed also will be increased to 8 emails per second. You can also ask for more email sending limits in future if required. But for now this is enough. So for now what we have done is from your dashboard you have verified an identity either a domain name or email id or you can verify both as well and then you went to the dashboard and clicked on request production access to ask for production access. Now we have to create an IAM user so that we can be able to configure this with the magnetic mailer panel. So search for IAM on top. So you will be getting the IAM which is the user access in AWS panel. So on the left hand side click on users and you can click on add user. Now this user you can be able to disable at any point in time. For example tomorrow you are not continuing with magnetic mailer. You can simply deactivate this access and all the data related to this account will be suspended. So there is no need to worry about your data safety and security. So in the username I am just putting magnetic mailer again as a reference. And do not enable console access because this is a programmatic access is what we need. So just mention the name and click on next. Now you have to create a user group. So why we are creating user group is for the permissions. So in create policy just search for SES and give access to Amazon SES full access. Don't select anything just select this. So you can mention the group name as again magnetic mailer and click on create group. So now the group is created you need to check this group and click on next scroll down click on create user. So once the user is created, click on the username and you will be having option of security credentials. Click on security credentials, scroll down and here in access keys you need to click on create access key. Now in this you need to select third party service. Now when you select this some warning will be shown at the bottom. You can ignore this one and click on I understand the above recommendation and click on next. So you can again click on create access key. Now the key will be generated. You can also download this as a CSV file. Now we have completed the complete Amazon SES and SNS setup. Until now there is zero coding is what you have done. You simply followed some basic instructions and did the setup. Now let me take you through the magnetic mailer settings panel. Just log into your magnetic mailer account. And in this just go to your settings panel now in the settings you need to click on activate in the access key mention the access key whatever you have downloaded from the excel so this is my access key i'm just copying this and pasting this access key similarly secret key is secret access key this is the secret key just copy this and paste it in the panel now region this is very important if you come to your amazon account you need to go to SES 
and make sure the desired location is selected on top and the production access also should be enabled now since this is the demo account and this production is not enabled but make sure the data center what you are choosing should have an active SES account enabled now in this once you click on this drop down you will see Asia Pacific Mumbai right but you need to copy this AP-South-1 this is what you need to mention in the region so AP-South-1 same way like in case if you are based out in US East Ohio you need to select US-East-2 you should not mention any other name so this is the correct setting data now in the configuration set you need to mention the configuration set what we have created by clicking on here so you can click on configuration set and you will see the set name just copy this and paste it in the panel from email id this should be either a verified email id or an email id that belongs to a verified name or an email id that belongs to a verified domain name so in case if this is the okay, this is not verified this is the verified email id i am just copying this and pasting it over here so from name you can mention any desired name based on your requirement so i am just mentioning magnetic mailer and click on submit now the configuration is done now in order to verify this configuration what you have done is correct or not first you can come to the dashboard and in the dashboard you will see this all these data SES region your daily quota, since left, send today, what is the set rate? Now this and this should match. Now if this is matching, then that means the configuration is done properly. Now since this is not a verified account, I might not be able to send email to any other mail ID and verify this. But in your settings panel, you can also send an email to the verified identity already. For example, I just verified this email ID. Hello at magneticmailer.com and you can click on send test email to test whether the emails are working fine or not. Now the campaign is working fine. Now these are all the ways in which you can verify whether the setup is done properly or not. Now once this is done, that's it. The entire setup is done and we have done zero coding till now and your email is verified and you are sending email from magnetic mailer panel in a click. Now you can simply create campaigns from magnetic mailer panel and start sending as per your email. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and follow our channel in the future for more updates regarding bulk emails and campaigns management. Thank you so much. I hope this video helps you in finding the best solution available in the market at a much affordable price. Thank you.